This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Magus. And so, had a little bit of news from Sony discussing peripherals of all things. Um, wasn't something I was necessarily expecting or looking for, but eh. It's some nice to know information, um, information that seemed to blew up when it came out and people were acting dumb, which I'll get to in a second, but let's go over the preliminary. So they gave information about the DualShock 4, the PSVR, um, and other officially licensed peripherals as they are concerned to the PS5. So I guess there were people asking these questions. I again I don't know why uh, I never thought about whether or not um, outside of the PlayStation VR which they came out and said they planned on carrying PlayStation VR over to PS5 um, so that I kind of already knew even though I wasn't necessarily thinking about it but things like the PS4 controller whether or not it'll be compatible or not didn't cross my mind but um, they did say that they will have um, compatibility with PS4 games on the uh, PS5. That Now, the PS4 DualShock 4 controller won't be compatible with games made for the PS5. Um, and that's an important thing to understand here because a lot of people seem to have missed that whole... Um, distinction so it will work on the ps5 but games that have been just built for the ps5 won't use them which to me makes sense because they're going to utilize a lot of the new features of the um dualshock 5 controller uh, or the dualsense sorry not dualshock anymore it's the dualsense controller you know so that kind of makes sense um you will be able to use your wireless headsets or any wireless headset that uses USB or audio jack. Um, so you'll be able to plug in the audio jack headphones into your controller like before, or you'll be able to plug in your USB or USB dongle um, connected headphones into the PS5 and they should work. Um, you will not be able to use the software uh, the companion software that was made for the PS4 for Sony's um, headsets, the platinum and gold wireless headsets. Uh, for those who don't know, Sony um, headsets always had like a little software suite so that you can pick specific sound schemes or you can kind of create your own sound scheme so you can get the get full advantage of a game's audio um i remember i had the ps pulse headset back on the ps3 and it was pretty damn dope playing certain games although scared the shit out of me with the last of us having its own scattered sounds game where they highlighted and accentuated the sounds to make a better experience um, for you so but you won't be able to have that most likely they'll probably come out with a ps5 version of the software um as I b do believe they did the same thing for the PS4 eventually. So there's that. Uh, the PlayStation 4 camera will work with an adapter. You'd have to uh, get a special adapter. Um, they haven't said when they will announce um, when the adapter will be available, but it, they will be making an announcement. Now, if you do have a PlayStation VR, you'll be able to get it for free because you need the cameras to connect. Now, you don't necessarily need to have a PlayStation 4 camera because there will be a PlayStation 5 version of the camera. But for those of you who already have your VR setups, that makes sense because, again, they're bringing PlayStation VR over to the PS5, so they want to make it as seamless of a transition as possible instead of making you go out and having to replace parts of your kit you know so 
that'll work. The motion move controllers are gonna work. The aim controller for the VR is gonna work. All that stuff is going to be supported by um, the PlayStation 5. Uh, so, now that that's all done, let's get to the reaction and response to that. First, my reaction is, okay, that's cool. They're allowing pe people to carry over um, I think the more significant stuff, like the PSVR stuff, because that's a pretty, you know, healthy buy, and you don't want to just disregard all that um, equipment. So good on them for letting you carry that over. The PS4 thing, um, you know, it's cool that they're letting the Dude Shock 4 be able to be compatible with games um, that were made on PlayStation 4, made for PlayStation 4. So, if you have that extra controller, you might want to keep it. So, um, when you do backwards compatibility, if you feel more comfortable using the um, PlayStation 4 controller, you can do that. Um, I'm curious as to how the games, though, are going to scheme to the DualSense controller. Because I would think that they would make it so if you play these games on PS5, you'll be able to use the DualSense controller for them as well. But, um... They didn't really go into details of that. Um, the fact that if a game was made for the PS5 that you can't use the DualShock 4, who cares? Um, I kind of assumed that anyway. I never assumed that you'd be able to carry over your controller because Sony has the history of like making certain modifications to the controllers where the older controllers don't necessarily carry, have never carried over anyway. Um, go back to the PS1 and to the PS2, from the PS2 to the PS3 uh, controller. Um, there's always been some slight differences. It's never been a one-to-one -one, um, thing, like, especially since they added uh, triggers where they didn't have triggers between generations and then stuff like um the six access and all of that thing and in particular with the DualShock 4 like between that and the PS3 you know with the touchpad and the changing of the buttons the option um and share buttons and all of that adding with speakers the you know center button ps button all that stuff uh just there's just different functions the functionality and it just made total sense that they weren't just you know going to work on the next thing um so yeah i think microsoft is a lot more compatible between 360 and um, Xbox One than Sony's ever been in any of their generations, if I think. I guess PS2 and PS3 are probably closer, with the exception of like the uh, six access stuff that they tried and all of that. But yeah, um, and even then, their Bluetooth to wire, Bluetooth against wireless, wired, so. Um, I don't know. Was the PS2 controller wireless? I think they did have an adapter for wireless. I forget because I never had a PS2. Sorry. I know. Again, blasphemy. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay. Now, people reacting, people screaming, talking about, oh my god, they're not going to be able to let you use your controller. How, how fucked up is that? And, and all of that um, to the people who are like, why do y'all give a fuck? I'm, of course, more on the why do you give a fuck because, again, as you heard me say before, I never really expected carryover, but it's nice. Um, I know last generation when they were like, hey, you know, you can kind of modify the DualShock 4 for the PS3 if you want to kind of try it out because I remember they released the DualShock 4 way before the console came out and you could actually go to the store and buy some and it was actually you could actually use it on the um ps3 at one point um 
I always found that was weird because it's like, well, I, okay, I guess that's cool. Um, in limited uh, capacity. But, you know, I never thought like, okay, now you can take your DualShock 3 and connect it to the PS4. And if you want to play um, a remastered game that was originally on the PS3, just go at it. And, no. I mean, I, I, I just don't understand what would be the complaints other than y'all just doing it for that stupid console war shit which is just fucking lame which grow the fuck up like seriously y'all is this what we're coming to we're gonna fight over shit like this like this is why I've never prescribed to that shit and I don't like being around people who prescribe to that shit it's just oh my god it's so stupid like it's just stuff. But, yeah, it's for, you know, go the fuck up, y'all. Please, come on. 2020, games have been around for decades. People have different tastes, have always had different tastes, different preferences. Enjoy being a gamer and stop fucking worried about somebody else's preferences. Jesus Christ. So annoying. Anyway, um, but yeah, not a big deal. Um, this was a cool bit of news to see. Um, a lot of people, though, are still waiting for pricing, things like that. So, yeah. I guess Sony just felt like they're going to throw out a bone while we wait for the next day to play as well, uh, which will be coming um, in a couple of days as of this recording. Uh, which, Sony, by the way, just to let you guys know, the next day to play, they told you don't expect anything huge. They are going to be talking about third party mostly indie games um there will not be any exclusive um sony studio news uh they I mean, i'm looking at the blog right now like read it verbatim it's been a while but state of play returns this thursday with a focus on third party published games coming to ps4 and psvr We'll have a few PS5 game updates on third party and indie town titles you saw you last saw in June's PS5 showcase. The episode is weighing in at 40 plus minutes. We've got a great lineup in store featuring plenty of new gameplay footage and other game updates. Can't wait to hear what you think. And just to be super clear, there will be no PlayStation Studio updates in Thursday's episode. There won't be any updates around hardware, business, pre-orders, or dates either. On Thursday, our focus is squarely on showcasing some cool upcoming games coming to the broader PlayStation ecosystem. Should be fun. The new State of Play episode airs Thursday, August 6th at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Uh, BST, and you can watch it live on Twitch and YouTube. See you Thursday. Okay, so people, no, no, don't expect Christ, don't expect, like, anything, a new version of a hardware announcement, nothing, no, leave it be, calm down, so when y'all fake outrage on Thursday, know that you're fake outraging after being told what to expect, okay, okay, anyway, as always, you guys, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you're thinking. I'll talk to you later. This is your boy, Black Makers in the Mount. Deuces.